Bless your coos the bird woman taking your money with a practiced snatch. Twenty piece the chain. She holds out a bag of crumbs and a small coin for you. Your score just went up by one point. The total is now one out of a hundred. We are one percent done this game, guys. Success. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're booting up into Amiga DOS to check out Trinity, the interactive fiction game by Brian Moriarty. And I don't know how you go through life having the name Moriarty and not getting the super villainy, but this guy, he took the straight and narrow and ended up as a game developer for, for Infocom in uh, the 1980s. And Infocom, if you don't know, they're a classic uh, game company. They, you know, made a lot of the classic adventure games back in the day. Um, or I guess at least, I don't know if they made a lot of the classic adventures, but they were a player. You know, they were in the game. They had some skin in the game. And they made a lot of text-based adventure games. Um, fun fact, Wikipedia for this game, the Wikipedia entry, mentions the 1001 Games book. And so one of the this game's claim to fame is that it is in the book, 1001 Video Games, you must play before you die. Which I think, by extension, makes me famous because I'm playing the book. I'm playing the book that the game is referenced in Wikipedia. I don't know. Somehow it it comes back to fame, is what I'm gonna say. Anyway, here we are in Amiga DOS. This is amazing. This game came out on so many different systems. I mean, I could have played it on Atari ST or DOS, but I realized I had never really done anything with Amiga DOS. Amiga DOS is usually a stopgap between. Uh, you know, booting up an Amiga uh, system and getting to a game. I've never actually hung out in Amiga DOS. I never had an Amiga back in the day. So I'm kind of excited that we're actually playing this in Amiga DOS. I don't know, it's a bit of a selling point. Um, this will be a text adventure game, so we'll get started here shortly. A lot of today is going to be me reading what's going on and trying my darndest to figure out what to do next. But I will give you the premise of this game. This game blends historical elements as part of a poem about the atomic bomb. That's the premise. Make of that what you will. All right, now that you're all suitably confused, as I am actually, let's actually try this game out. So, sharp words between the superpowers, tanks in East Berlin, and now reports the BBC rumors of a satellite blackout. It's enough to spoil your continental breakfast. Hey, these people never lived through 2020. Am I right? They thought it was bad back in the 80s. They didn't know anything. But the world will have to wait. This is the last day of your $599 London getaway package. You're determined to soak up as much of that authentic English ambiance as you can. You've left the tour bus behind, ditched the camera, and escaped to Hyde Park for a contemplative stroll through the Kensington Gardens. You're at the Palace Gate, a tide of... Oh my god, I can't even say this word. People had much bigger vocabularies in the 80s, is all I can say. Perambulators surges north along the crowded boardwalk. Broadwalk. Wait, is that a typo? Should it be boardwalk? Shaded glades stretch away to the northeast, and a hint of color marks the western edge of the flower walk. Well, let's start with the good old look. Okay, that just tells us the same thing that we just saw. Um, I do not have a walkthrough today. Sometimes I play these adventure games with walkthroughs to, to help us make progress. I'm going to try going in today totally blind, uh, but we'll see what we can do with this. So, uh, perambulators. What the hell are perambulators? They surge north. Well, let's, let's go north and follow these perambulators. The east wind makes it difficult to walk straight. We're on the broad walk. I'm almost positive that's a typo. Uh, a brooding statue of Queen Victoria faces east, where the waters of the round pond sparkle in the afternoon sun. Your eyes follow the crowded broad walk north and south until its borders are lost amid the bustle of perambulators, <laughs> whatever they are. Small paths curve northeast and southeast between the trees. A cloud of pigeons fills the air. They circle overhead and congregate around a nearby bench where an aged woman is selling bags of crumbs. Feed the birds, 30p! Her voice quivers with heartbreak. Talk to woman. Let's find, let's hear her story. The bird woman doesn't respond. Hello! You must address characters directly. 30p, 30p a bag! Hello, woman! <laughs> the bird woman doesn't respond. Buy, 
Seed. The word seed is not in the vocabulary. Okay. Bye. Seeds. You don't need to use the word seeds to complete this story. I'll tell you what words I need to complete. Uh, wait, what is she selling? She's selling bags of crumbs. Okay, buy crumbs. Ah, uh, here we go. With the seven si with, with the seven sided coin. A seven a seven sided coin. That's not a coin, is it? I guess it could have like ridges. Okay, I understand. I was thinking like a seven sided die, like a Dungeons and Dragons style. You know, like I, I don't know what a seven sided die would be. I've seen eight sided and four sided and six sided. Is seven sided dice a thing? We're getting super sidetracked here. With the seven sided coin. Taking the seven sided coin out of your pocket first. Boy, this game is like really specific. You place it in your left hand, squeezing it between the index finger and thumb. You gradually extend the muscles between your elbow, moving your forearm forward, which moves the hand into her vicinity, l making eye contact with her. She notices that you intend to pay. You nod. She takes the coin. Like, how specific do we need to get here, people? Um, bless your who's the bird woman taking your money with a practiced snatch. 20 piece the chain. She holds out a bag of crumbs and a small coin for you. Your score just went up by one point. The total is now one out of a hundred. We are 1% done this game, guys. Success. You can turn the score notification on or off with notify. Take your bag and your change, governor. <laughs> it's like so stereotypical. All right. Take bag. You take the bag of crumbs from the bird woman. The bird, bird, blah, blah. the bird woman tugs your sleeve impatiently. Take your change, governor. Ain't got all day. Take change. You take a small coin from the bird woman. Spit on bird woman. <laughs> Let's just leave her with that, eh? <laughs> okay, the game says it doesn't recognize that, but I can fill in the blanks for you here. You hawk a good loogie and spit it right in her face. She coos and runs off into the bushes, never to be seen again. Take that, bird woman, you say majestically. All right, see, I'm, I'm embellishing the story, helping, helping fill in the gaps the developers left unfinished. Anyway, we're now just a terrible human being. So let's look at the crumbs. Uh, the breadcrumbs look old and stale. There are several handfuls left in the bag um, of crumbs. Eat crumbs. Why not? <laughs> you grab a handful of crumbs and cram them in your mouth. The pigeons look on hungrily. As you munch the bread, your teeth clamp down on something hard. Ouch! You spit out the particle with a muffled curse. A brilliant ruby lands at your feet. Oh my god! Hey, we were supposed to do this? I was just being stupid by eating the crumbs. Maybe if we fed them to the birds, they would have pooped out a ruby. Well, that would be very painful for a bird, let me say. As you reach down to touch the ruby, a very large bird races out from behind a tree. It snatches away the ruby in, with its beak and zigzags through a group of tourists and disappears to the east. You didn't know better. You'd swear that bird was a roadrunner. It's time, shrieks the bird woman. <laughs> what is happening? The east wind softened to a whisper, dies away. Blowing leaves settles on the ground. The trees are still. Then a fresh gust blows from the west. Talk to bird woman. Help me, bird woman. Why does she not respond to me? I mean, I, we did spit on her, so that's partially an issue. Chase bird. The pigeon definitely avoid you. Uh, feed birds. Let's try and lure that bird back. You take a handful of crumbs out of the bag. They fall between your fingers and tumble across the ground where the breeze blows them all away. Feed the hungry birds, cries the bird woman. Um... Okay, how about look for Ruby? I've already lost track of where the Ruby bird went. Uh, you'll have to do that yourself. What? Hey, if you just type in nothing, it goes, what, what, what? Um, all right, what do we got going on here still? The woman is still selling crumbs. We had a Ruby briefly. Um, you know, bird woman, you seem rather destitute. If I were you, I would not be selling bags of crumbs with hidden rubies. Just pro tip. Invest those things in, in your bank. Your bank accepts rubies as a currency. I don't know, actually, if a bank would. I guess not. You'd have to sell it first on eBay, get the cash, and invest it. Anyway, Bird Woman, good luck to you. We're off to follow the perambulators. Uh, so east, crowded broadwalk, north and south until its borders are lost. Okay, let's just go north. I don't know. I, I, I'm having a hard time visualizing the garden here, so I'm just going to keep going north until it doesn't let me. 
the Black Lion Gate. Nannies and tourists. Why are there so many nannies? Nannies and tourists hurry through the Lancaster Gate to join the perambulators rolling south down the Broadwalk. Uh, less crowded paths wind east along an iron fence and southeast between trees. A careless nanny has left her perambulator unattended. Take what are what are perambulators? I don't know, but I want one. You can't lift the clumsy perambulator. Look at perambulators. Please tell me what these are, game. It looks as if the perambulator is closed. What is it? Is it a robot? Are these robots? Is a perambulator a real thing? I'm tempted to look it up, but I also feel like I should earn it in the game. I don't know what a perambulator is. Talk to perambulator. Are they sentient? Uh, it isn't likely a perambulator would respond. I don't care if it's likely. Do it. <laughs> Damn it, game. You follow my instructions. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, let's go east. Actually, can we keep going north? I think probably not. A surge of gawking tourists block your path. All right, we're trapped by tourists. Go east. The Inverness Terrace. Crowded walkways lead east and west along an iron fence. Narrow pathways wander south into the gardens. A young boy sits nearby listening to a pair of headphones and idly blowing soap bubbles. There's a dish full of soapy bubbles by his side. The boy dips the bubble wand in the dish and swishes it around. Take bubbles. That's impossible. The boy pulls the bubble wand out of the dish, puts it to his lips, and blows a big soap bubble. Take bubbles bubble dish we're just a uh, fun police today guys we're destroying everyone's fun oh how about take dish oh ahoy the startled boy leaps backwards at your pro splashing water all over the place stupid git he cries in an intriguingly cockney accent then he retrieves the empty dish pockets the wand and disappears between the prams glaring over <laughs> glaring at you over his shoulder his last bubble floats away over the treetops Oh, uh, we were just all sorts of getting into trouble today. So I guess now there's like literally nothing what nothing here. All right, go east. Go eat. Go east. All right, a crooked old tree shades the perambulators. They roll down south the Lancaster Walk. What are they? Are they barrels? They roll. Perambulators roll. A nanny at the gate left her perambulator unattended. I, 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 what are, are they Donkey Kong barrels? Is that what they are? Shady paths lead west along an iron fence and southwest between trees. There's an old woman under the tree struggling to open an umbrella. The stiff wind isn't making it easy for her. Take umbrella. We're just straight up going in. We're playing this game like it's Grand Theft Auto. We're straight up going straight to crime. You approach the umbrella in the old woman's hands, but stop short. Her face is wrong. You look a little closer and shudder to yourself. Oh, God, she's uh, she's not too easy on the eyes, apparently. The entire left side of her head is scarred with deep red lesions twisting her oriental features. That isn't, that isn't correct anymore. <laughs> That's offensive now. Uh, into a hideous mask. She must have been in an accident or something. A strong gust of wind snatches the umbrella out from the woman's hands and sweeps it into the branches. The woman circles the tree a few times, gazing helplessly upward. The umbrella obviously means a lot to her uh, for wis uh, wistful tears running down her cheek, but nobody except you seems to notice. Uh, after a few moments, the old woman decries her, do, wait, the old woman dries her eyes, gives the tree a vicious little kick, and shuffles away down the Lancaster Walk. All right, we're getting that umbrella back, and we're going to give it back to the, oh, to the woman. I was about to type, climb umbrella. Climb tree. You can't find any good footholds. Yell at tree. It seems doubtful the tree would respond. Do it anyway. Refer to your Trinity manual for the correct way to address characters. Well, nuts to you. All right, look at Umbrella. Maybe we can throw something at it. Umbrella dangles in the tree overhead, high out of reach. Its handle uh, is carved in the shape of a parrot's head. You know, if that old woman had not walked away, I could have stood on her shoulders and climbed this tree, and it might have crippled her for life, but, you know, the, the, the force of having a full-grown male standing on her but I'm pretty sure that would have acted as a foothold. We could have got our umbrella back. So anyway, uh, I think it was Southwest was the only way out of here. Maybe we'll come back for that umbrella. Maybe the perambulators will be able to help us because there are perambulators here. I'm just noticing in the last paragraph. 
Ducks and swans bob on the sparkling surface of the round pond. They share the water in an impressive fleet of toy boats directed by the excited shouts of children. Crowded paths radiate from the pond in many directions. Uh, the large bird you saw before is here. You catch a glimpse of the ruby in its beak as it races toward the wheels of a perambulator and disappears to the east. Yeah, we're going to follow it, but perambulators have wheels. What are they? Are they cars? Is a perambulator a car? I'm so confused. Is it a future car? An impressive sculpture of a horse uh, and rider dominates this bustling intersection. The walk continues north and south. Lesser paths curve off in many directions. The broad field of grass, meticulously manicured, extends to the east. Beyond it, you can see the long water glitter between the trees. A printed notice is stuck into the grass. Ooh. Large bird you saw before is here. You catch a glimpse of the ruby in its beak as it dodges a startled nanny and disappears to the east. Well, I'll keep following it, but uh, read notice. The words, do not walk on the grass, are sternly printed on the notice. Walk on the grass. <laughs> I mean, like, what's going to happen? As your feet touch the grass, you sense a strange motion around you. Looking down, you watch in horror as the grass begins to ripple and writhe with vegetable indignance. Angry green stalks whip around your legs, pull you to the ground, and drag you kicking and screaming, what is happening? Uh, back to the paved surface of Lancaster Walk. A chorus of offended little voices subsides. You regain your footing. The grass is possessed, guys. What is happening in this game? My god. Uh, okay, we've lost the duck or whatever that stole our ruby. Um, we're back on the walkway. An impressive sculpture of a horse and rider dominates this bustling intersection. The walk continues north and south. Lesser parts curve off many directions. A uh, broad field of grass meticulously manicured. Oh, wait, this is the, uh, this is exactly where we were. So the grass just put us back on the sidewalk. That's weird. A young couple zooms down the Lancaster walk on bicycles. You watch them roll across the grass, and disappear into the crowd. Well, why do they get to go on the grass? I think our duck went east. Angry green stalks whip around your legs, pull you back. Oh, okay. We need bikes. Um, okay. I'm totally lost as to where we are, but I think if we go north... Try going north again. Okay, here I think there's a perambulator. Uh, how about go north, east, west? I'm going to think. Iron fence blocks your way. Okay, hold on. Crooked trady she's perambulators. They roll down south of the Lancaster Walk. Shady path leads west. Okay, go west. I want to find that unattended perambulator and steal it. Um, go west. Ah, Carol Sandy has left her perambulator unattended. Take perambulator. You can't lift it. Get in perambulator. You'd have to open the perambulator to do that. Well, gosh darn it, why don't we open the perambulator? Get in perambulator. All right, we have, through the powers of deduction, figured out that we think perambulators are cars of some kind, or bikes, or I don't even know. It could just be a barrel that you roll yourself down a hill in. Whatever, it's some kind of vehicle. With great difficulty and much amusement of passerby, you jam yourself into the unfortunate perambulator. What? Okay, you're not even supposed to ride these things. All right, close perambulator. Why not? That'd be easier if you got out of the pram first. Uh, go. I want the perambulator to go. Roll perambulator. Uh, to move the perambulator, simply push in the desired direction. For example, push the perambulator to the south. Okay. Get out of perambulator. Okay. Push perambulator south. Boom! We stole the perambulator! <laughs> what is a perambulator? Um, push pram south. Alright. Feed the birds. We've been here. Push pram south. Totally lost, by the way. A surge of babbling tourists blocks your way. Okay, what are our options here? So we can go northeast. Push pram northeast. Okay, the wabe. This grassy clearing is only 20 feet across the perfect and perfectly circular. Paths wander off in many directions through the thicket. A shaft of golden sunlight falls across a handsome antique sundial erected at the exact center 
the clearing. Shaft, handsome, and erect it all in the same sentence. You do the math. The perambulator rolls to a stop. Okay. Uh, look at Sundial. Uh, the... Whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? We got a loose Carol poem. And the Wabe is the grass plot round a sundial, I suppose, said Alice, surprised at her own ingenuity. Of course it is! It's called Wabe, you know, because it goes a long way before it and a long way behind it. All right. The perimeter of the sundial is inscribed with uh, seven curious symbols and a compass rose with the legend Tempus Edix Rerum uh, emblazoned across the bottom. A triangular gnomon casts a finger-like shadow that is creeping slowly towards the first symbol. Good. I don't know what we're supposed to do with all that information. Um, can we just push param later east I think it blocks your path um push uh, i think we just say pram north there we go a noise makes you hesitate for a moment nothing happens then the west winds puff through the clearing and the gnome on the sundial suddenly wobbles with a faint scrape take gnomon you know, my sundials uh, wobbles loosely when you try to remove it. Hit. Gnomon. Attacking the Gnomon isn't likely to help matters. Well, it could loosen it more. Game, don't tell me what's possible. Let me try these things. Okay, that's not going to work. How about just pick up, straight up pick up the Gnomon. No, it's not going to work. Okay. Push Pram North. Okay, we're at the round pond. Uh, one of the tiny boats, uh, toy boats, catches your eye. The west wind blows it closer. You realize the white sails are actually wings. Fold a paper bird. Ooh, take boat. Toy boats are far. Okay, take bird. Okay, you lean over the edge of the round pond, pluck the paper bird out of the water. We have four points. Four percent of the game is done. It's not bad, I think, for these adventure games. I don't know. All right, so we have the paper bird. Look at paper bird. Paper bird is skillfully folded. Something is written between the folds. Unfold paper bird, perhaps. You gently unfold the, pa the paper bird to its full size. Uh, look at paper. So we got the words long water, four o'clock, are scrawled on the piece of paper. Oh, really? Uh, hold on. Push, pram. We're just keeping this pram. I don't know if it's going to be helpful to us or not. Wait until four o'clock. Word until. Wait. Time passes. Wait. Time passes. What time is it? Time? It says three feet. Ooh, wait. Time? Oh, here we go. We wait until four o'clock. Something mystical and magical is going to happen. We're at the sundial. Oh, we're waiting. Two, three, four. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They are sick. They are of sick and diseased imaginations who would toll the world's uh, knell so soon. Whatever that means. A steady drone begins to rise above the west winds as it grows louder and more insistent. You recognize the sound you've heard only in war movies. Air raid sirens. Uh-oh. Look at sky. You can't see that. Wait, you can't see the sky? Okay, let's see what's going on. Grassy clearing. There's the shaft. There's a perambulator. Another siren joins the first. All right, we got to get the hell out of here. Or should we just keep waiting? I'm going to wait. Sirens are howling all around you. Confused shouts can be heard in the distance. I'm just waiting. Police and fire alarms join in the rising. Yet I'm waiting this out, man. In an emergency, you stay calm and stay put. And people will find you. Distant megaphones can be heard barking orders. I'm just waiting this out. A round of gunfire drowns out the wailing signs. I can keep waiting. Ground travels with the roar of jet interceptors. Uh, the west wind falls silent. Uh, a new star flashes to life over the doomed city. All right. You're on a lifeless strip of sand by the great river. Did we die? Did we get nuked? Uh, the water is a naturally dark and still ribbons of mist coil across its surface like ghostly fingers obscuring what lies beyond. 
Hey, what happened to our perambulator, I wonder? Do we have that still? As you peer across the river, you notice a lone vessel gliding out of the fog. You can make out a dark oarsman at the stern. The oarsman guides his dory to a soundless landing. Something in the way he crooks his skeletal finger compels you to board. You surrender a silver coin you didn't know you had. Take a seat. Wait patiently for your first glimpse. This is totally the river sticks. I'm pretty sure we're paying to get to the afterlife. Um, your first glimpse of the opposite shore. Your score is four points out of 100 in 119 moves. This gives you the rank of tourist. Oh, we totally did die. <laughs> That's game over. We totally died. Okay. Uh, let's... Can we restore? Did we even save anything? Default is story.save. Okay. How about, can you load story.save? Restore failed. <laughs> okay. So we, our only option is to basically restart the game. We died. We died in a text adventure game. I think that's an accomplishment. We had four points out of a hundred. Um, all right. So how do we do this? We buy some crumbs. I know what I'm doing now. Uh, feed pigeons. Uh, you're not, oh, wait. Take, uh, you actually have to take the crumbs and take your change. That is so insane. Okay. Feed pigeons. Okay, so we, uh, we give them uh, some crumbs. They fall between my fingers. As the wild birds gobble down the crumbs, a glint of red catches your eyes. Frowning, you stoop down for a closer look and gasp with astonishment. A ruby is bigger at your feet is bigger than a walnut with finely cut facets and sparkle with crimson fire. It must have been in the bag of crumbs. Take the damn ruby! Okay, uh, so the bird snatches it in zigzags away. Alright, that's accomplished. Let's leave the uh, perambulator for now because I don't even know if I need it. But let's go east here. Uh, the round pond. Let's take the hold on, look. Look at toy boats. This is where we get the paper. Uh, take paper bird. Boom. Unfold bird. Boom. Read paper. Okay. Long water. Oh, long water. Oh, wait. We probably weren't at the right spot. Okay. So let's go east here. Press the sculpture. The large bird is there. And it dodges a startled landing, disappears to the east. Okay, but the grass will grab me, right? Uh, read notice. Okay, go east. That doesn't do anything. Okay, we gotta go north. Uh, let's go north again. No, go east. Wait, go west. I'm just doing this all for... I'm like barely skimming this stuff. Uh, let's see. Go north. Okay. Uh, push pram south. Uh, suspicious nannies won't let you near. Wait, what? Look. Uh, crooked old tree, southwest, umbrellas, wedge in the trees overhead. Uh, hold on, go, go west, right? Crooked old trees, a perambulator, stroll down, baby paths lead west, right. Okay, and this is the kid with the, the dish of bubbles that we don't care about. We'll go west further. There we go. Uh, push pram south, I guess. I don't know. It seems like a good direction. Uh, okay, and now, now we can go east, I think. Push pram east. There we go. Push pram east. Boom. Push, pram, east. Oh, the angry green stalks whip around your legs, pull you to the ground, drag you, kicking, screaming. Of course, okay, can we ride pram east? Please express that another way. Ride pram. What is a perambulator? Perambulator. It's a dated term for a baby carriage. <laughs> Wait, I got in a perambulator? The physics of that don't make any sense. It also means a person who walks, especially for pleasure and in a leisurely way. But that's the formal definition. All right, well, we've messed around with this game for a little bit. I don't know, how long should we play a text adventure game? 
Um, I could look up a walkthrough. You know what? If people like really wanted to see me play this, I would totally look up a walkthrough. But I feel like for these text adventure games, just coming and having a bit of fun is what our little quest is all about. This is uh, it, kind of an interesting game, actually. Like, to be honest, I was getting into it a little bit, and it did kind of f start to feel like a choose-your-own-adventure novel, and I really liked those as a kid. So, like, I think, you know, I think text adventure games... Um, they they're they're kind of like a lost art. I feel like I do actually enjoy them. Um, I wish that text adventure games were just a little more forgiving and just sort of let you go and do things. Um, what would be interesting is a text adventure game that did have like an end that you could make get to, but also at the same time like really didn't require you to get there. So it was just like a a, a world you could go and explore and be in and like do things in i feel like that would be kind of cool sort of like a literature equivalent of a holodeck because it is kind of cool walking around and like interacting with these birds and stuff but honestly i have no idea where to go we figured up uh, we figured out a perambulators of baby carriage which i stole i stole a baby carriage guys i'm a horrible person uh but to be fair i didn't know what it was but uh yeah just some dudes walking around the park with a baby carriage and if he hangs around too long uh planes and nazis come and kill them i don't know i don't know what this game had to do with the atomic bomb and like the cold war and stuff but the premise has something to do with poems and that so um trinity here is one of the games in the book of thousand one video games you must play before you die um if you like text adventure games it seems fine uh the you know we didn't really get far here today but like the the plot's just a little weird and you know, it'll take some time to figure out how to get far in this game. I don't know. I don't know about what you guys want me to say about a, another text adventure game. I feel like things like Zork and stuff actually stood out to me more. But a game like this, the game like this kind of feels just sort of like a, a novel. I don't know, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I would like to see more text adventure games out there. It'd be cool to see them with like modern tech where like maybe characters behaved randomly and had like probabilistic reactions to things. And sort of, you know what would be cool is like the Grand Theft Auto of text adventure games. An open world text adventure. That would be kind of cool. Where like the world just reacts to your behaviors in it. And it's just like a functioning world that's just represented through literature. I don't know. Call me crazy, but I kind of would like to play that one day. But um, as for today, I don't know. We chased some birds. Umbrellas got stuck in trees. We stole a baby carriage. Make of that what you will. Um, I, I say if you like text adventure games, sure, check this one out. Um, as for how iconic it is, I will leave that to you guys to decide. If this is a game that you played back in the day, please sound off in the comments below about what you liked about it, what you found enjoyable, what was unique and interesting about it. Uh, from my little playthrough here today, it just seems like a typical text adventure, which again, not necessarily a bad thing, um, but basically it's like going and reading a book, and you're going to want to set some time aside to basically just... Go do that. I don't know. Anyway, um, I hope you guys had a bit of fun today. I hope it was kind of interesting to check this game out, especially on Amiga DOS. If it was, don't forget to like the video and all this stuff. And uh, otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves and peace. What is a perambulator? <laughs> <laughs>